Hi, welcome again to uh, also in Niagara. Spring has sprung and we're ready to plant some roses. Of course, we start with a hole in the ground. Now, here we have the advantage of uh, having sandy loam soil, it's very easy to dig. The only uh, fertilizing that we're doing is uh, we're putting some bone meal onto the bottom of the hole. Bone meal is a uh, Low release source of potassium, phosphorus, and a few other good things. You don't need very much of it for rows. Use one handful, as much as your hand can hold. I just throw it on the on the bottom of the of the hole. Here is our baby plant. She was in the water. That's where the roots belong, in the ground or in the water. Never out in the open sun. And here comes the first measurement into place which is with this, just a simple stick, this would be the level of your bed. Now this graft here, this grafting union, should never be visible again. It is somewhat of an insurance if you get a really hard winter and the whole plant freezes back. Whatever is in the ground will still be able to shoot up again. So once we have this established, we hold this plant in place in, on the same level. And now we start digging in. We are going to uh, to make sure that the soil is as settled as possible while we're doing this. So I do actually step on it. So what you need is some sort of a crater. I sometimes don't even fill the hole completely up in the beginning. I just make sure that the water can really go down and, and make this make this soil very wet. And we're just gonna wait until this water disappears. Now the major part of planting is done now. As you can see, we have uh, this rose in the ground and it's even with, uh, with, the, with the surrounding area. There is too many buds there uh, to have uh, the roots um, supporting them. So uh, what you actually have here is just the foundation of a future pretty big plant. I would like to have strong canes that are not very twiggy. So everything that would be weak, I cut this out. You need good pruners, gloves, and um, what we are looking at is basically a hand four, with four to five fingers and maybe one more extension on each finger. Any side branches get cut out, and um, anything that stands very close I cut out as well. We have one, two, three, four, and we could do a fifth one in order to keep them all growing the same way. I would like to keep them all on the same height. Now we're pretty well done. Some people put nail polish at the end because of infections. They may have had some shoots inside your package, some tiny little buds swelling. They need to be protected from harsh uh, spring winds and um, we actually hill them up. You can use uh, good soil around them, no manure again, and uh, we're just going to hill them up very very high for the next 10 days to two weeks. And here we're using mulch. I'm going to be a little bit careful here because we have all these little buds here showing and we don't want to break them off of course. This uh, medium, as I call it, can actually be used later on as a, uh, as a mulch. And we just leave a little bit out, like this. In about 10 days, and I will demonstrate this right now, we're going to take a stick and very, very carefully take it off. Because within this hill, in about 10 days, 14 days, with nice spring weather, these shoots will have developed 
a little bit more and they're going to be very tender. So we take this off just a little bit, give them a little bit more air and at that point this rose should be ready to roll.